Hello everybody, Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today it's the Bosch Seri 4 Vario Perfect Washing Machine General Maintenance. Basically, you want to keep it in tip-top condition so it's in good running order. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be checking the dispenser drawer, making sure there's no gunk and gunge and mould in there. Then we're going to be checking the rubbers on the inside of the drum. Then we're going to be checking the drainage pump filter, also known as the coin catcher, make sure there's nothing in there. Then we're going to be checking the aqua inlet mains cold water feed filter. And then we're going to check the drainage hose and the drain is u-bend make sure there's no blockages in there and then finally we're going to run a drum clean cycle which keeps your washing machine hygienically fresh i'll put chapters in the description below so you can jump to whatever scene you want right what you're going to need today is a pair of pliers your partner's toothbrush a bit of coat hanger wire or a dental floss brush lurks have you been using my toothbrush for cleaning the washing machine again um no and you're going to need a lovely cup of tea. And I've decided on today's video, I'm going to have my cup of tea at the beginning. Oh. This is the Bosch washing machine here. And this is the dispenser drawer on the left hand side. So what you do is you just pull it out. And then this button here, you need to push that, but quite far in. And I'll just give you a zoom of what it does. So you're pushing that down and it just lowers that clip. And that allows you to remove the dispensing drawer. Have a look inside the dispenser drawer area. This is not too bad, but as you can see on the top, we've got a bit of mold and gunk. This machine is only eight months old, so you can see how quickly it builds up. And we're really careful with this washing machine. Now, before you get started, it's really important to just get a cloth and just block that hole up because you don't want the toothbrush or the wire falling down into the washing machine because that is a world of pain. Whilst I'm blocking that hole up, there's a link above now about what to do if your washing machine is not draining water. Now I'm going to take my coat hanger wire and what you're doing here is you're just basically pushing it into these jet nozzle holes here and the fabric softener on this Bosch washing machine is in the middle. So you're just pushing it up there into each hole, just making sure that you can remove any gunk and gunge. Now, if you've got a dental floss toothbrush, that is absolutely ideal if you've got small brush head on the end you can just poke that up inside there and just wiggle it about and just make sure you get any debris out of there or any mold now i believe this whole unit does actually pull off you can see some small clips at the back but i tried this and it was really difficult and you have to be very careful because obviously you do not want to snap this so i'm just going to clean it with this hook and obviously while you're in here you might as well clean the other holes as well on the detergent side and the pre-wash detergent side just to make sure that they're nice and clear these are unlikely to be blocked because obviously the fabric softener does create mold and gunk over time. Then take your partner's toothbrush and just get inside here with some hot soapy water and just give this a really good scrub all around the jet nozzle holes and basically all around the dispenser drawer area. As we've got it all opened up, you might as well get this spotlessly clean. Get it as good as you can and then take a hot soapy cloth and give it a good scrub as well. Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above now about how to activate the child lock on this Bosch washing machine. Now I've got my wet soapy cloth. I'm just giving that a really good clean. This is about five or ten minutes later. As you can see, this is looking pretty good. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to clean the actual dispenser drawer. So I'm just going to lift this off. This is actually not too bad, but we can clean all this with our partner's toothbrush. So we've already started to get a bit of mold residue building up on here. And as we're going to put it back, we might as well make it spotlessly clean. So just give this a really good scrub with hot soapy water. And there's a link above now about what to do if the door is stuck on this Bosch washing machine. As you can see on the back, there's a bit of mold residue building up as well. So let's just clean this up. I'm not going to show you all this footage, but this is what it looks like after I've given it a really good clean. 
So that's looking spick and span top notch. Just going to give this level indicator a quick clean as well. And then we're ready to put the dispenser drawer back in once it's dried off. Now just put the dispenser drawer back in, line it up. You may have to push that button down and then just slide it all the way home. What we'll do now is just check the rubbers inside the door. We've got a tiny bit of dirt here, a few hairs, just get those out. And then we're just going to peel back the rubber. We've got a little bit of dirt in there, so just take a hot soapy cloth and just make sure that's nice and clean and that the drainage holes are clear. If it's really dirty in here, you can use your partner's toothbrush again. Right. Now, if you've got this error code E18, it means your pump filter is blocked. But I'm just going to check this one anyway. And the first thing that you need to do is make sure that the power is off on the washing machine. So switch it off at the mains and also remove the plug from the wall. And then you need to turn off the mains cold water feed as we're going to be removing the drainage pump filter. Now, right down here on the right hand side at the front, you've got this small plastic panel. Just push that clip down at the top and then remove. And the first thing to do is remove this hose here. Now you'll need a small tray to catch any water. You can pull that hose out a little bit and it's just got a small cap on the end. So just unclip that cap. And this is just draining out any excess water inside the drainage pump filter. You will still get some water when you unscrew the filter, but this is just to get rid of most of it. And there's a link above now about how to install a brand new washing machine. Okay, once all that water has come out, you can put that hose back. Remember to put the cap back on nice and securely. Do not leave that off, otherwise the next time you do a wash, you will get water all over your floor. Now just get a small tray, because you will get some excess water out of here from the drainage filter. You just turn it anti-clockwise, don't unscrew it completely, and just let the water start draining out. Now if you get too much excess water, you can always tighten it up quickly, empty that tray, and then unscrew it again to get any excess water back out again. So I'm just going to empty this. Now I've just put a, a small towel down on the floor. So you're just turning it anti-clockwise again, just nice and slow. I can already hear that there's something in there. And there is the culprit, look, an old penny. Unfortunately, it's not a gold penny. What you normally find blocking these filters is coins, hair clips and colour catchers. And let's have a look inside the filter housing, make sure there's nothing stuck inside there. And while you've got the filter out, just make sure that propeller turns easily. I've just got a flat bladed screwdriver and this is moving freely, so that's good. Now this filter is actually looking in excellent condition, so there's no need to clean that. But if it was all gunky and dirty, just give that a clean under normal hot water. Now just put the filter back in. You just turn it clockwise and just keep turning it until it locks in in the upright position. Then you can just put the front cover back on the pump filter and this just easily clips in. Now we're going to check the aqua inlet filter at the back. So you need to pull out your washing machine as far as it will go, but just be very careful. So obviously you've got the drainage hoses and the mains cold water feed. Now we're just going to check that the mains cold water is still off, which it is. And if you track the hose all the way back to the washing machine, it should be in the top corner. And the aqua filter is inside there. So what we need to do is just unscrew this anti-clockwise. So as viewed from the front of the washing machine, the aqua filter is at the back on the top left. Make sure you've got a bucket handy. There shouldn't be too much water because we've turned the mains water off, but there will be a little bit. So you can just catch it into the bucket. You've just got a few drips coming out there, but not too bad. 
just keep unscrewing it and there you go just plop that into the bucket just for any drips that carry on and the inlet filter is a tiny little filter in the middle there now this just pushes in it's not on a thread or anything so the best thing to do because it's a really small bit of plastic to get hold of with pliers just try and dry it off as best you can because if it's wet it's very slippery and there's not much leverage on here take your pair of pliers squeeze them onto the flat edge and basically just pull it out and just wiggle it around a little bit just be very careful and eventually it just pops out and it's got very very small perforated holes on here now let's just check it and this one's looking pretty good but if you've got any dirt and debris in here the best way to clean it really is just to blow it If not, you can use your partner's toothbrush and get the bristles in those tiny holes. This one's looking pretty good, but if that was all blocked up, that could affect your washing machine with the water pressure and you could get a water pressure error code. This one's pretty good, so we can just pop this back in. Now to pop it back in, it literally just slides in. Make sure you get it in flat and level and then just push it in with your finger. Just push it all the way home. Fabulous. Now we can put the mains cold water feed back on. So just offer it up. Make sure it's level. You do not want to cross thread this. And just tighten it up with your hand. And just keep tightening it with your hand until you can't tighten it anymore and do not be tempted to use any kind of tools or pliers on here because if you over tighten it you can damage the thread as it's only plastic threads so just do it as hard as you can with your hands now i'm just going to turn the mains cold water back on i can't quite reach it so i'm using my pliers and now just quickly check for any leaks because the mains water pressure is on and this is looking pretty good and now we can check the drainage hose and the drainage u-bend pipe work for any blockages make sure you've got an old bucket and a sponge because there will be water so this is the drainage so empty any bits of it into there and again this is looking pretty good have a quick look down the end no obvious blockages in there Make sure you leave that resting in the bucket and now we're just going to check the u-bend because this is the prime target for any blockages any gunk is just going to sit in there and that's why it's designed so that anything sits in there doesn't block up the drain elsewhere and actually looking down there looks pretty good just put a little plastic tray underneath i just got this from the chinese takeaway obviously after i'd eaten my chinese now just undo these they're just hand tight so they should be fairly easy to undo and in fact I only needed to do this one here on the right hand side because I'm just going to take the whole pipe off of the wall because there's just a couple of screws at the top so there we go and again the water's looking pretty good so I unscrewed the, um, the clip at the top so the whole pipe's going to come out now so let's just pull that away and then we're just going to pour this excess water into the sink again it doesn't look like there's a blockage in there it's all looking pretty good all looks pretty good to me it's not blocked up so this can go back on Right, let's get this pipe back on. Okay, so just offer it up and then gently hand tighten it. Don't use pliers or anything, just use your hand, just hand tighten it, don't over tighten it because they're only plastic threads. Make sure the waste pump hose is back in. 
don't forget to do that obviously otherwise you'll have a lot of water all over your floor then we just need to put the washing machine back into position this is a bit easier if you can remove the dispenser drawer just gives you a bit of leverage and basically it's just a question of wiggling it all the way back now be very careful obviously you've got hoses at the back you do not want to kink the drainage hose or the cold water inlet feed hose after you've put it all the way back in just check the cold water feed hose make sure that's loose and it's not kinked and this one is looking pretty good now oddly when i put it back in exactly the same position it is now not level so i think i must have moved some of the legs now what you can do is you can adjust the legs on all the corners i'm just going to adjust this one on the bottom left hand corner just to make sure that it's completely level obviously it's best if it's level because when it's doing a fast spin if it's not level it will just start rattling and bouncing around all over the place i'm just going to check this with my spirit level and the spirit level is saying it is top notch level superb and now we can run the drum clean cycle now i've got this dr beckman's washing machine cleaner but other brands are available and what we do is we just pour it directly inside the drum this washing machine powder gets rid of any unpleasant odors and keeps the washing machine hygienically fresh and ideally you're meant to do this every two to three months or after every 30 washing cycles now on this particular bosch vario perfect series 4 washing machine we've actually got a drum clean option this will automatically clean the drum out and set it to 90 degrees so let's hit the start button and off we go Now be careful when it's doing this washing cycle because it is 90 degrees centigrade which is almost boiling point so the glass on the front of the washing machine will get very very hot so make sure you keep any young children away from this now obviously it's a given that you run this drum care program without any laundry don't put any clothes inside the washing machine while it's doing this The drum clean option on this Bosch washing machine takes just over an hour so obviously I'm going to condense all the footage and we get to the stage where it goes soapy soapy sud suds and look now it's getting really really soapy giving it a really really good clean inside and the glass is extremely hot now. And now it's doing a bit of a final rinse the water is still very hot at this stage so be very careful and there's a link above now about washing machine how to guys lots of various different makes and models of washing machines and lots of top tips in there and we finally come to an end and this is now looking sparkling clean and smells absolutely fresh as a daisy very fresh and then don't forget to put your partner's toothbrush back and hope they didn't notice if you found that video useful please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money there's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here if any of those are useful to you then you can select those now thank you for visiting my channel everyone i really really appreciate it